Radio. You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. It's OBA with Arden Moore, the show that teaches you how to have harmony in the household with your pets. Join Arden as she travels coast to coast to help millions better understand why cats and dogs do what they do. Get the latest scoop on famous faces. They're perfectly pampered pets in Who's Walking Who in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails. Garner great pet tips and have a doggone fur-flying fun time. So get ready for the pause and applause as we unleash your all-behave host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Did you ever dream of just getting in an RV with your best friend and hitting the road? You know, waving goodbye for a while to the 9 to 5 world, must-see TV, and instead getting behind the wheel, exploring new places, taking in new experiences. Now, the key to making this a joy ride is your travel mate. No one wants a grouch or a know-it-all. Our special guest today, Dawn Salapino, is seeing America with her best friend, a Karen Terrier named Jack. Dawn and Jack are on a special 10-week trek across the country inside a 22-foot RV to inspire dogs and their people to get fit together. The tour is aptly called Jack's Journey USA. Please give pause and applause to Dawn Salapino, founder of Leash Your Fitness, and Jack, of course. Welcome to the show, Dawn. Thank you so very much for having us. We're so excited to talk to you and, and all your listeners. Awesome. And speaking of listeners, you need to stay tuned and find out where Dawn and Jack are heading, hopefully somewhere near you. We're going to learn more after we take this quick commercial break. So sit and stay. We'll be right back. Time for a pause. Four furry ones actually sit and stay. All behave, we'll be right back. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. DesignerPetSweaters.com Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com All Behave is back with more tail-wagging ways to achieve harmony in the household with your pets. Now back to your fetching host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome back to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Our special guest today is here, right in the studio with me, along with her dog, my five dogs, which belong to my sister and myself, and a cat that's playing hockey now under the studio floor with a toy. Dawn and her dog, Jack, pulled up in a decked out RV last night. It's bright yellow. It's got possum images of her and Jack surfing, paddle boarding, hiking, and so much more. And I have to say, I think we are listening to our special guest today, our America's fittest person dog duo. Dawn Salapino is the founder of Leash Your Fitness and her amazing Karen Terrier, the adorable Jack. They are in this RV. They started out in San Diego and they're on a 10-week mission to inspire us to get fit with our dog. I can't believe you're here, Dawn. I can't believe I'm here either. It's been a whirlwind three days, 1,400 miles in the first three days, but we are so happy to be here. And tell us, you know, be our video camera, and we're going to certainly show images of your RV, but this isn't some uh, junky looking RV. It's pretty tripped out. Yeah, it was funny. When I bought my RV, as soon as I bought it, I pictured it being yellow. And I love yellow. I think yellow is such a happy color. It's my team color, my whole website and everything. And it just, I don't know, it just puts me in a good mood. And so now I have a yellow RV. (laughs) 
But it's not just painted yellow. I mean, there's pictures of you and Jack. Your boyfriend, Jim, owns a graphic. What's his, his background? He because owns Claremont Sign, so he wrapped it for us, and we had a designer design it. And what we wanted to do is we just wanted to show people different pictures and different ideas of things that they can do with their dog. So we have a big picture of Jack and I doing our, we do a boot camp class, so we have agility jumps in the class. So we have a picture of him and I doing that. And then we also love water, anything that has to do with water. So we love to stand up paddle boards. We have a really big picture of us stand up paddle boarding. And then we also do so many different things with the dog yoga and the surfing. So we have a little bit of, you know, pictures all over it of all the different things that you can do with your dog. I'm telling you guys, if you wanted to come back in this life, I hope you come back as a dog with Don Celepino because you will be <laughs> fit and happy. And, you know, by day, you know, people know that you're very fit. You have at least your fitness. You're also a personal trainer and you're also an x-ray technician, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I went to x-ray school. I've been an x-ray tech for 22 years, and um, I actually always wanted to get into nutrition and training, and I actually x-rayed a guy's knee, and he was telling me about his nutritionist, and I inquired about it, and next thing I know, I was interning with her, and that was almost 20 years ago, and one thing led to another, led to me becoming a personal trainer and group fitness instructor, and at one point, I actually quit my x-ray job and just went completely into just training. And I just really love it. I love inspiring people to try new things. I love inspiring people to see that, you know, what it feels like to feel good because so many people don't know what it feels like to feel good. So it's been a really, really cool journey. Well, a few years ago, listeners, my dogs, Chipper, Cleo, and I, we're in the classes with Dawn. We're now in Texas, so it makes the commute a little bit harder. But, you know, the whole adage, a tired dog is a happy dog. I think a tired person is a happy person as well. Don't you agree? Yeah, I think that when you exercise, it releases, oh, I know, when you exercise, it releases endorphins in your body, and it just makes you feel so much better. And, yeah, it helps people sleep better because most people aren't doing enough activity in their day to actually make them tired, and that's why they can't sleep at night. Because their body's like, I'm not even tired because we, I haven't really even done anything. So it helps with your sleep and it helps with so many different things. People know Dawn because of her program, Leash Your Fitness. And, you know, that's a great way to exercise with your favorite workout buddy, your dog. But this journey is a special journey. Tell us what inspired you to say, I'm going to get an RV and I'm going to go across America. Well, it's kind of a funny thing. A year ago, actually, my boyfriend was doing a century, a 100-mile road race up in Solvang, California. And so we were camping up there. And while he was out racing, Jack and I went hiking. And I just love being with my dog. It just makes me so happy. And I love talking to other people, you know, everywhere I go. And we were on the hike, and I remember sitting on the top of this mountain, and it, the views were amazing. It was one of my favorite hikes because it was just amazing views. And I actually took a video of the view for all my friends on Facebook because I just had to share it. And um, that, that video is actually on our website. And I was just sitting there thinking, wouldn't it be so cool to just do this, like, <laughs> all over the country and just take Jack and get an RV and just talk to people and inspire people all over the country and just hike with my dog. And I literally went home from that trip and started looking for RVs. That was one year ago. A year later, I'm on my RV and I'm on my 10-week journey. Now, I got to take a mini tour, a quick tour, because it's an RV, so it's not a long tour. But you got a lot of people and canine amenities inside your RV. Tell us a little bit about it and how's the first leg you've only started. Your first stop is here in Texas. But what's it like uh, getting behind the wheel of an RV with your with Jack as your co-pilot? Well, when I was purchasing the RV, I knew that this was kind of what I was purchasing it for. And I didn't really tell anybody, but I knew that I was going to be living in it. So I wanted something that was big enough, but obviously, you know, I don't have no experience driving an RV. So I wanted something small enough that I felt comfortable driving it, but I have to have a room. So... My RV has everything. It has a microwave, a stove, a refrigerator, a freezer, a shower, which with day one, Jack already had used the shower because he had to get a bath. <laughs> and it has a bed. It has three beds. And the bed above the where I drive, that's all storage. So I have all my teaching equipment up there, and we, we have some sponsors for the trip. So all of everything's up there. So I just use the pull-out couch as my bed every night, and it's perfect. It, it has a little table in there. So I feel 
completely comfortable, and I feel completely comfortable driving it. I mean, I've That's already great. driven 1,500 miles. And last year, you know, I did some test runs, and I drove up to Oregon for two weeks, and it was just awesome. I mean, it fits <laughs> into a regular parking spot. It's tight, but it fits. But I feel completely comfortable in it. And at the front of your RV... There's a special photo, and we, we would be remiss if we didn't honor a couple of special people who are kind of being your uh, travel angels. Now you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I know. I'm like Oprah and uh, all those other famous interviewers. Bring out the tissues. But no, come on. Let's do a I shout know. out. Okay, so this special tribute is to my mom and dad. And um, in 2005, my dad, actually, he had lung cancer. And it was a really bad journey with that. And he was living in Pennsylvania. So I spent a lot of time traveling from California to Pennsylvania. And um I really wanted to get a dog, but I was spending so much time traveling to see my dad, who suffered from heart disease and then eventually cancer. So for years, I just kept flying back and forth, you know, and I never knew when the last time I was going to see my dad was. And thank goodness for hospice, I got there in time and got to spend the last week with my dad in 2005. My dad's name was Jack, and my baby Jack, my current terrier, he was born three weeks later after my dad passed away. So when I got him, it was just, it just was like an instant reflex I mean, of Jack. And so he's been my buddy ever since. And that was in 2005, I got him. And then my mom, this was kind of what inspired my trip. My mom in 2012 went into surgery for a very, very simple surgery. I actually had a surgery a couple of years prior here in San Diego. My mom went in for surgery in Pennsylvania to repair a high animal hernia. And she never came out alive. And um, it was a tragedy, and it was a complete shock to our family. My mom was very healthy. She was 82. She never stopped. Everybody loved her. She was like an angel. And it was horrible. And from that moment on, I thought, our lives can change at any minute. We could be hit by a truck. We can, I don't want to sound morbid, but anything could happen. And from that moment on, I thought, why wait? Why wait to do anything that you want to do? Because... I hear so many people say, oh, I'm going to do that when I retire. I'm going to do this or that, you know, when I get more money. There's never going to be a perfect time. So why not do what you want to do? Start crossing things off your bucket list. So those two people inspired my trip, and we always love to camp. So we have a little memorial for my mom and dad on the RV because they're my angels that are with me the whole time. Let's give a big pause up to Jack and Norma. Yay! I thought it was great, and you, it was kind of cool because you have bugs on your windshield, but not a single bug landed no. on your mom and dad's photo. That's a no. miracle. <laughs> I know. And the last time when I took a trip for two weeks by myself, all these weird, like, amazing things kept happening to me, and I knew right then that I had angels watching me, and so... I hope they're with me in this 10 weeks, too, because I'm going to need them. <laughs> oh, I think they were. And so we're going to go from very heartfelt to potty talk. You're sitting here with a dog that loves to be anywhere near water, loves to run, loves to exercise with you. You're all excited. You're in your RV. It's all decked out. You're driving. You make a stop. And what happened with Jack that you've posted? And folks, after the show, please go to jacksjourneyusa.com, and you can follow the adventures of dogs and Jack, but day one or two into it, Jack tested your uh, bathtub a bit, right? Yes, we drove 1,300, well, we drove 690 miles the first day. We left San Diego at 6 a.m. and we arrived in Las Cruces, New Mexico at 7 15 their time which is 12 hours later so i pulled into this campground the very first campground i saw i just wanted to get out we needed to, we're used to being active so sitting that long is not what i like to do so i found the one site that had grass next to it and we we had like the entire area to ourselves so i just let jack out it was late at night no one was around he's running around so the next night i let him out he's running around the grass and and i go out to eat my breakfast with him and i notice he has poop all over his face <laughs> And he completely smelled horrible, and I could not even believe it. I'm like, first day, and he has to get a bath. So we needed to empty some water out of the tank anyhow, so I stuck him in the shower and gave him a bath, and it was pretty funny. And, I, you know, he has to be a dog. I just let my dog be a dog, and if he wants to poop, let him be, as long as he can get a bath afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad when you pulled up here, you didn't both have poop all over you as you walked in my house. <laughs> But I knew that was coming, so I brought lots of dog shampoo, and we're ready. We're ready for anything. 
So you're doing a 10-week tour, and what is your mission? Because I love the fact that you're doing, like you say, not wait till you retire. This is something that all of us can do. We don't have to go 10 weeks, but nothing is stopping us from getting out of our comfort zone or out of our rut and trying to see new places, and who not better than with your dog. So tell us a little bit about the tour, how people can find out more about it, and what's your mission? Well, our mission is we want to inspire people to do things with their dog. And I've learned so much in my last six years of running my business, Leash Your Fitness. I mean, I started my business with one boot camp class on a Sunday. And I'm a personal trainer, so it was more about getting the person fit and just having their dog along with them. Well, along the way, it kind of started, I just started adding a bunch of different adventures to my business because I used to love to camp. Well, I couldn't go camping because my classes were on Sunday. So I thought, well, I'm just going to take all my, my clients with me and go camping. So that started our camping trip. So we do a yearly camping trip. And then I started taking everybody kayaking. And what I've learned along the way was a lot of these people were like, wow, I never even thought about doing that with my dog. I never thought about kayaking with my dog. I never thought about traveling with my dog. I, I kept hearing that over and over again. And, and it was really, really inspiring. Like people were going out and buying kayaks or, you know, stand up paddle boards or, you know, they just started doing more things with their dogs. And so we started working with people around the country. We have an online group, like we call it Healthy Habits. So we try to encourage people to get healthy habits. Well, in that group, I was hearing a lot of things. Things like, oh, I never thought about that or, you know, I never thought about eating that food or I didn't know about this. So I thought, well, why not travel the country? And, and first of all, when you live in San Diego, it's like paradise, you know, right. we perfect weather. We have access to healthy food. We have access to all these dog boutiques. We have access to so many things. So I wanted to see firsthand what all of the rest of America was, you know, what their struggles were, what they're dealing with, you know, learn a little bit more about it so that way I can help them more. But I also wanted to inspire people to do things with their dogs. Why not dog yoga class? Why not? If you're going to yoga, you could take your dog and your dog reads your energy. They'll stay calm. We set the world record for the largest dog yoga class with 255 dogs. And it was so quiet. Like everybody there could not believe how quiet it was because all those dogs read their mom or dad's energy and it, it worked. So we want to inspire people to trust their dogs. And if you give your dog activity and you trust your dog, they'll they'll be the great partner for you. But oh, when you're absolutely. ignoring them, leaving them at home in the backyard or you're not giving them exercise, well, that's why they're barking. That's why they're chewing things up. That's why they're miserable because they aren't designed to be without activity, just like we're not designed to be without activity. So we want to inspire everyone to find what they like to do whether it be whatever, hiking or paddleboarding or doing yoga, but include their dog in it. And that's what this journey is all about, is just learning about America and inspiring people as we go. And we're doing that through our blog, through our social media, and we're teaching our fitness classes all over the country. We're talking with Dawn Celepino. She and her dog, Jack, are on Jack's Journey USA. It is a 10-week tour that's going all across America. She started out in San Diego. She's going to go all the way up to the northeast of the country and back. And we're going to find out more after we pay for this show by taking this commercial break. So everybody, sit, stay, strike that downward-facing dog yoga pose. Got it? Good. We'll be right back. Time for a walk on the red carpet, of course. All Behave will be back in a flash right after these messages. Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, the founder of Whitegate PR. We have been specializing in PR and marketing in the pet industry for over 10 years. If you have a pet product or service you would like to promote, give us a call. We can help create awareness for your brand on TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. Feel free to reach me directly at 619-414-9307 or learn more on our website at whitegatepr.com or follow us on Facebook. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hi, this is John Provost. You might remember me as Timmy from the Lassie series. Well, you know, every time Lassie comes home, she always has me turn on Pet Life Radio so she can listen to Arden Moore on that show, you know, Old Behave. Whoop! Whoop! We're back from the lot. Just check the paper and we had a record showing at the box. The letterbox, that is. Now back to Old Behave. Here's Arden. 
Welcome back to the O Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore, one of my best friends, BFFs, and that's best female friend and best fur friend. We're talking about Don Salapino and Jack, the Karen Terrier, are here in our studio today, and they just started their 10-week trek to go all across America and inspire us to get fit with our best four-legged workout buddy, our dog. And Dawn is here today with Jack, and Jack's being quite quiet. Can you get him to say hello? Jack, come here. I don't know. The, all the dogs are pretty much passed out. I'm sitting here with five dogs. Yeah, they're my dogs. They're hush puppies. That's their breed. It's called hush and puppies. And they are passed out. That's because, hey, folks, yesterday when she pulled up with her RV, the first thing she did was, hey, who wants to go for a walk? You know, that magic four-letter word. And picture us, two women with six dogs, and we took them on a nice walk. When they got back, they were all passed out, right, Don? But they were happy. Yeah. It was <laughs> I was passed funny. out, too, was, I think. <laughs> it was funny when the lady saw us, she was pushing a stroller toward us, and she went to the other side of the sidewalk. <laughs> I know. I was like, what are you afraid of? Come on. <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, maybe two or three, but not six. No, and uh, if you go on the jacksjourneyusa.com, there's a blog that Dawn is writing, and she has actually a picture of all six dogs on the leash. She shot it with her camera while holding the leashes of all six dogs without dropping her iPhone. I thought that was quite a trick. Well, actually, I have my hands free leash on, so that helps. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, you know, to do this, you can't just get up one day and say, hey, Jack, we're going to go on a 10 week trip. Say goodbye to everybody. There's a lot of planning. Is there any tips or tricks you can pass on to others that may be wanting to take a road trip with their pet that would help them make it a more smooth ride? Yeah, well, yeah, I had a lot of planning because I do run a business. I do still work part time as an x-ray tech. And obviously, so I had to get all that stuff covered. Jack, thank goodness, I couldn't even imagine, he is a really good traveler. So he knows when it's travel time. So he jumps up. I have a little car seat for him. You definitely want to get a harness. Uh, We're using the Kurgo harness for Jack. And you definitely want to have your dog strapped in for sure. Jack likes to look out the window. So I have him a doggy seat. And um, he looks up. He's like a person. I'd say, hey, look at the... I I like to talk to him like he's a person. (laughs) Probably like look and he looks where I tell him to look and it's pretty funny. And he doesn't say, are we almost there yet? Exactly, exactly. (laughs) Well, I have to tell you this funny story. So I do get him worked up and we're going to go somewhere fun. So after traveling for 12 hours the first day, I'm like, okay, we have got to go do something fun. So the second day we left the campground and we went up to White Sands, which is super cool in New Mexico. And I have a video on the website and some pictures and so as soon as we were pulling, like, we're getting there. I'm like, we're going to go hiking. We're going to go hiking. So we pull in, and he started barking at me. And he's like, he was so excited. And I thought he had to potty because he was just acting crazy. Well, it, it turned out he was just excited because we were going hiking. <laughs> and I oh. could feel it was exciting, <laughs> excitement because I could, too. And it was cute because we parked the RV next to the sand dunes. And all these people started pulling in to inquire, like, what we were all about. And everyone that pulled in had a dog. So they were all getting out, and they wanted their pictures taken with Jack by the RV. So it was really cute. It was really cute. And when I got to talk to everybody, and we talked about, you know, what they were doing with their dogs. And, you know, that's what it's all about. I love meeting people all along the way. But you also want to make sure that you, like, I took Jeff to the vet before I, I came, and I got all of his vet records. I brought all of his vet records with me, and I have a stock first aid kit, you know, and so I have all that stuff. I brought his own food and all of this. He doesn't take any meds, but I brought cream for his feet because we're going to be doing lots of hiking. And, you know, I just, I have a whole cabinet of just his stuff. (laughs) And folks, she's smart. She's prepared. She's actually taken a pet first aid class by me. I'm a master instructor. And then in two years, people need to come back because we update the training. And guess who was in class? Dawn. So I think you kind of know doggy doggy. If something happened, you you're ready to do it, ready to be prepared yeah and now for six years i've been taking people hiking and camping and just being around a lot of dogs so i know i feel like i know a lot and obviously i'm not as skilled as you are and i've seen you in action before but i feel like i know enough to know when something's wrong or i feel confident you know teaching classes being around a lot of different kinds of dogs because that's just it you know there's so many different personalities just like people right you know? so you kind of have to just respect the dog and what they're you know like jack he was always really timid 
timid around people, and it wasn't because he was beaten or anything like that. That's just that was his personality. He's a terrier. He's like, I'm not a cuddle dog. You know, respect your dog for whatever their personality is, and you work with it. Now, you mentioned Kurgo. You got a couple other sponsors you want to do a shout out to? Yeah, and I I'm so fortunate because. One of my sponsors is One Dog Organic Bakery, and the dog treats are homemade, and literally, I share them with Jack. They are so good, <laughs> and she made us all different flavors, and so we're sharing those with people, and they're, well, actually, they're pets all over the country, and everyone that comes to the class gets those, and then Kurgo has been really very, I've been fortunate to have them on board as well. They supplied us with the harness and dog booties, because we've done lots of hiking, life jacket for Jack for when we go stand up paddle boarding, you always want to have a life jacket on your dog. Right. And um, giving everyone dog collapsible dog bowls at our classes. Nice. And then Kind Bar supplied us with tons of bars, and they're so good. I've been like living off of Kind Bars, <laughs> and so and I and everyone in the classes gets a Kind Bar. So uh, we have all kinds of yummy flavors. That's good. And so and then Isle Surf and Sup, they gave us a stand up paddle board to bring with us because stand up paddle boarding is so much fun. He gets his sports mixed up because he also dock dives. So he, yeah, <laughs> we go <all> board <laughs> diving surfs. as well. So yeah, so the stand-up paddleboard is really cool because you can just. I would have never had room for a regular one, but this one is inflatable. So it's you can deflate it. It goes into a bag with the paddle and everything in the pump. Nice. And I just have it right in the inside of my RV. So it's going to be really, really fun. I can't wait to get freshwater lakes all over the country and um, yes. paddleboarding. Well, but before we end this show, we need to let people know, again, go to jacksjourneyusa.com and find out what's going on. And hopefully, Jack and Don will be near you. And you guys got to come out. It's a fun hour workout. There's a lots of good things to help you get fit. And when you're, your dog's going to think you rock because you're pretty cool now because you're doing something different and fun and exciting. And you're working both your mental and your physical. So this is enriching in all ways. But name a few places you're going to be heading to with Jack. Well, our first stop is Cedar Hill, Texas, and then we're going to Annapolis, Maryland, and then after that, we're heading to Clinton, New York, and then we're going to be going up into Maine, so we have a couple stops up in Maine and one in Boston, and then we're heading over to Grand Rapids, Michigan, and then Cincinnati, Ohio, Elizabethtown, Kentucky, and then we have a couple stops in Colorado, so we're going to outside of Denver and Aurora, Colorado, and Durango, Colorado. And those are where we're going to be teaching. But we're also going to nice. be stopping all the way doing, you know, other stuff as well. And and then what's cool about the classes is I evaluate the, the demographic of every class of who's showing up. And I structure the workout for that demographic. So it can be, nice. you know, everyone and everything's timed. So there's no counting. And everybody just kind of works at their own pace. But like Arden said, we incorporate the mental and the physical for the dog. So we do incorporate some dog obedience in the class. And what people don't realize is that does tire the dog out. Just making them think, making them sit, making them get in a down or making them heal. And even if your dog isn't that great in dog obedience, it's kind of fun just to, you know, work at it. And the person gets a really good workout. And we work core, balance, cardio, strength training. And it's it's really fun. It is fun. And the biggest thing people say is, oh, my God, that hour went so fast because it's just a constant. We're mixing things up. It isn't a drudgery. It is a treat. Oh, did I say treat? Treat? Treat. Oh, all the dog's ears are popping up. We're speaking with Don Celepino. She and her dog, Jack, are all across America for the next 10 weeks on Jack's Journey USA. Go to there, jacksjourneyusa.com. And I hope you can uh, catch her blogs and her videos. She is multi-talented in the social media world. She's got it on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and E-I-E-I-O. But she's an amazing <laughs> woman. If you do go to the social media, it's under Leash Your Fitness, not okay. Jack's Journey USA. Okay. So it's Leash Your Fitness on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and YouTube. All right. And the blog is Jeff's Journey USA. That's a little bit confusing, but that's our company is Leash Your Fitness. Yeah, Leash Your Fitness is the brand. So if you head that way, you can't go wrong because you'll be you steered wrong, over. Yeah. You won't lose your way because she's quite the navigator. And you'll get mm-hmm. to see Jack's blog and check it out. I hope you do. Anything you want to say in parting, Dawn, to inspire folks to get fit with their Fido? Yeah, I just want, you know, just go out and try different things. And, you know, trust, like I said, trust your dog and just work with them. And don't think that I hear so many times, oh, my dog could never come to your classes because they don't listen. Well, your dog doesn't listen because they don't have any structure. So if you add some structure in their life, they will listen. And 
you can start that by, you know, doing the classes. We also do on our website, we do Move It Mondays. You know, we have exercises on there that you can do on your dog walk. So, you know, there's so many different ways to take your dog with you to do different things. And if you do come to one of our classes or meet us along the way, please let us know that you heard this radio show and let us know where you came from. That would be so awesome. We got at least three listeners, so that's pretty good, right? <laughs> I'm <laughs> just teasing. We have a lot of people, and hopefully we'll have even more. I want to thank you, Dawn and Jack, for being our special guest on today's show. You rock. Well, thank you, Arden. This has been so much fun, and I can't wait to hear it and share it with everybody and meet all of your listeners. All right. All 900,000 of them. You ready for that? Can you take on that yeah, challenge? Yeah, I am. Love it. All right. Bring it Hopefully on, they all don't come to the same class, but <laughs> <laughs> we can mix it up a little bit. Oh, that'd be great. And so go to jacksjourneyusa.com. I also want to thank my awesome, awesome producer, Mark Winter. He makes this show happen every week. Go to Pet Life Radio. Check out his genius. This is the planet's largest pet radio network. That's a pretty good accomplishment in its own right. So I think right now I need to have Mark take a well-deserved play bow. I hear him doing it. Okay, good, Mark. All right, until next time, folks, this is your flea-free host, Arden Moore, delivering just two words to all you two-, three-, and four-leggers out there. Oh, behave! Coast to coast and around the world, it's all behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs>